So the question was a thousand dollar pack. Who was it? Is it for whales? Is it for casual players? The Magic 30th anniversary. We I finally figured out who this product is for. It's for people like Hunter Pence. It's for famous people. It's for influencers. It's for anybody on Twitter who cancels people. These products are being given for free because they're the best marketing you could ever give. I mean, you want Post Malone? Hey, Post Malone, you want to open some packs with us? How many packs you want? You want them all? Okay, here you go, Post Malone. And of course, he's gonna have fun because it is a fun product to open. But at a thousand dollars a pack, my understanding is the majority of these packs will be given for free as promotional as promotional packs for wealthy, famous people. The more famous and the more wealthy you are, the more promotional packs they want to give you. So you post on your. I saw Hunter Pence. Hunter Pence has a store in Houston, so. I know a little bit more about Hunter Pence than you would know because obviously his store, Coral Sword, is a competitor. They're the ones who sell the uh, $10, $12 chicken tendies and the cafe and they have a dog park or something you know, outside. They do it the right way. They do it in an incredibly good way. Uh, the Coral Sword in Houston, owned by Hunter Pence and his wife, I believe her name is Alexis, but she's also a social media influencer. So Hunter Pence has some cards. He's showing off. Cassius Mars has some cards. These cards are not, the majority of these $1,000 packs are not meant to be sold to the public. They're meant for Brian Kibler to get like 100,000 of them so he can open them and promote them for Hearthstone. They're meant for Hunter Pence to open them on the Instagram and promote them. They're meant for Post Malone to throw them out at a concert party, right? Steve Aoki will probably somehow be involved in this. I'm sure he's got pallets of this product coming in. This product is not meant for customers. It's meant for promoters, influencers, anyone they considered um, a benefit. Like, oh, they opened the pack, they got a really good hit. Now they're gonna promote, now they're gonna post it on Instagram, which makes 100% sense now what this product is. This product is not for the ordinary person to buy because this product should never be, for nobody that's gonna buy the product. It's just only gonna be reprinted and given to famous people who can then tell their audience. Most of the audience will be non-Magic players. You look at Post Malone, look at Hunter Pence, a baseball player. You look at Cassius Mars, a football player. Their audience is probably less than half, I mean, it's not even, I mean, their audience is almost no Magic players, I would assume, because they have so many people who follow them. You look at how big their social media is. You give, I mean, Mr. Beast, right? He did the MTG Arena thing. Just give him a bunch of packs. He's going to love opening it because he loves high expensive stuff. You give some packs to Card Collector 2. You give some packs to people in the sports card industry and you tell them, oh, this is a thousand. It is exactly what Gary V did with his NFTs, his uh, Gary friends. He would give everyone, he'd give Card Collector 2, he'd give Sasa T, he'd give everyone who is anyone on YouTube or Instagram or anyone, he would give them a free box of Gary V friend cards and they would say, oh, this box is a $2,000 box or a $5,000 box and then they would open it with Gary in person. They would get a poorly drawn cartoon and they and, and, and that was it and, that, and then that got people and that did it did increase the both the attention and the price of the v friends box when it's just 10 cards of garbage but that thing got to seven thousand eight thousand dollars that's what they're doing on this product it's a promotional product it is not a product meant to be drafted obviously it is not a product meant to be opened by the normal Magic player. It's a product that made a lot of Magic players like quit. Frankly said, it is a product that is only meant to be given for free. And the $1,000 price tag is so the people who are receiving the product feel really good about it. That's the play. 
That's always been the play. That was a play from day one, and now it's obvious as you see these famous people on social media who clearly they have not been, they're not being, I mean, clearly they, they make enough money that $1,000 isn't that big of a deal for them, but they're getting packs early, they're opening packs, they're do sharing videos of them. You know, they're creating this buzz and excitement around magic to a demographic that is not magic players. It's kind of like what they did with Savage, right? He was the only person with any following and the Magic Pros, they attacked his wife. It was very savage what they were doing because the Magic Pros do not have any following. So the MPL, the Magic the Gathering had allotted 100,000 cash, oh not 100,000, 100 million cash for 10 years to support that program. That was an awful program because no one had any following. And if they did have a following, it would be 100% magic players. So when you're a company and you want to expand, you need to find people like Savage, like Hunter Pence, like Cassius Mars, like Steve Aoki, like Post Malone, who have way more followers and that fo the followers are not magic players, right? That's why Post Malone got his own card recently. Because now, you know, he loves magic. So, I mean, it, it's a very smart marketing maneuver. I, I, I honestly, the $1,000 pack makes these packs special. The ordinary magic player will not be able to afford a pack like this, nor do they have a social media, nor do they have a YouTube channel. Nor do, the ordinary person will never get the opportunity and will never be sent a free pack of this item but you know who has multiple pallets of this item, probably Post Malone. And he's having a blast opening this quote thousand dollar pack with a Black Lotus and a retro Black Lotus. And it's all starting to make sense. As soon as I saw Brian Kibler, I made a video. I'm not a fan of Brian Kibler. In fact, Brian Kibler tried to cancel me and on Twitter. Thank God Elon Musk owns Twitter now so I can actually fight back against the Twitter trolls. I feel more confident because 3,700 employees got fired from Twitter. Most of, I think all the content moderation team got fired. So I'm feeling really, really good, right? About Twitter, I might be more active on Twitter soon. But my point is this product was never meant to be sold for $1,000. If, if they made some money from the product, great. This product was meant to be given out to famous people with large followings so, you know, hey, we gave you $40,000 of packs. Can you give us an Instagram shout out, Hunter Pence? Oh yeah, I'll give you a shout out. Right, that's the play. The play is, you know, how much of this comes out in the wild. I don't think a lot, I don't think customers at this point, actual magic players, the ordinary magic player has $1,000 in their bank account. Most people don't. So how would that player possibly afford a product? And honest to God, in a recession, why would, this is the worst scenario is they're buying the most expensive product at possibly the worst time when the economy is still under that Joe Biden dude. So problem solved. The problem is who's gonna pay $1,000 a pack? And the answer is nobody then yeah, it's a free promotional item for famous people, for social media justice people. If you cancel me, you get you know you get ten thousand dollars product, whatever it is, right? It is a product used to incentivize influencers, pseudo influencers, uh, you know, the diversity crowd to get like all the you know to like go out on the attack. I'm not kidding. When I once you see Brian Kibler and you, I knew, I knew something was wrong. I knew immediately, and I finally didn't put two two together until now. And I saw Hunter Pence. I was like, and Cassius Mars and Post Malone post about it. I was like, oh, I understand. These people possibly Brian Kibler doesn't pay for anything. People pay him for him to open your thousand dollar pack, for him to promote your item. They probably pay them in packs. It is the same model as Puker Trade, right? When they didn't pay any employees, they paid them in Puker Points. Well, the Puker Points have value in the secondary market, which they did, and the packs, the $1,000 packs have value in the secondary market, and it would be very easy 
No, it costs almost nothing for them, Wizard of the Coast, to print this product. So if Post Malone wants $100,000 for appearing on a commercial video, just give him a hundred thousand, give him 200, no, give him 400, give him half, a, give him a million dollars of this item. Okay, cool. Accept it, right? A million dollars. Yeah, that's a good deal. I'll take, I'll take it. Brian Kibler wants to appear on your promo. Just give him some packs. He'll take it. Hey, Hunter Pench wants you want him to make an Instagram post or Cassius Mars. Both, just give both of them a half a million dollars in packs. So, what is happening, and this should be pretty obvious, is that people are going to get free packs. And the more followers you have, the more influence. It's even more unfair than we initially expected. You thought it was about how rich versus poor. You thought it was about classism. It's not about classism. It's about social media presence. You know, they're going to give the Emma or Carmen, they're going to probably give her, her a million packs to open and, and so on because, and they're going to give all their employees packs. I wouldn't be surprising if they just pay their employees in packs, just like PicoTrade did. Hey, employee, you have the option of getting $40,000 a year or $400,000 in packs that cost us like four cents to make. Oh, I'll take the 400,000 in packs. Thank you. <laughs> this is so genius. Now that I, I think, so once I saw that Hunter Pence Instagram post, I was like, oh shit. Cause like Hunter Pence, he has a big following as is his wife, right? And Magic, he doesn't post about Magic very often. He owns a game store, but they do board games. They do Yu-Gi-Oh, but they do other stuff outside Magic. So Magic wants him to focus just on magic. And what better way than to give him free? Cassius Mars, for instance, he does Pokemon a lot. He's super big into Pokemon. But now his focus is magic. Steve Aoki, really big into Pokemon. Let's give Steve Aoki a billion dollars of free packs. Okay, now, now guess what? Steve Aoki is now shilling magic instead of Pokemon. Logan Paul. Why don't we give Logan Paul $10 million of packs and see what happens? He'll probably just open them on the live stream and promote magic the same way. I mean, what I would do is I created this great product. It's not really for sale, right? I mean, nobody would be dumb enough to pay $1,000 for it, right? Let's give it to every single Pokemon influencer we know. The Logan Pauls, the Jake Pauls, you know, and, and it's great because now they have, a, it's like when Logan opens a Charizard, now Logan opens a Black Lotus. So we get a lot of free PR, which costs us nothing because it's like the Pico point. You know, it's an imaginary, when they can print as much, I think the print run on this will be a lot higher than anyone expected. And 95% of it will go to millionaires, influencers, and basically just famous people because at the end of the day, that's what I would do. If I had a product that Post Malone, instead of paying Post Malone his fee, I could just print a you know a product for ten cents a pack and give it to him, and he'll he'll accept it as payment. And not only will he accept it as payment, he'll open the packs on live stream. He'll you know promote it. You know he'll talk, make tweets about it and so on. So he's he's actually getting really excited about the opportunity. And I just I just continue to feed him packs. He he doesn't really need to do stuff for me. I would just continue to give him packs. I would give Steve Aoki packs. I would give uh, Logan Paul packs. I would give, you know, anybody with a Twitter following of more than like 10,000, I would just give them as many packs as they wanted. You want a million dollars pack? Here you go, here you go. Because it costs me nothing. It costs Wizard of the Coast nothing to print these packs. And the thousand dollar price point only makes sense. And it makes a lot of sense if you think about who the price point is actually the reason that we need to make this a thousand dollars a box which is four packs right is we need post malone to think that it's very valuable we need cassius mars to think it's valuable we need hunter pence to think it's valuable we need savage we need brian kibler to take his payment in packs and that is the secret sauce very smart you know i give them all the credit this makes 100% sense to me now what is going on. 
we were never supposed, even the whales were never supposed to actually buy these packs. These packs are being given out for free as we speak. In fact, right now, the only way you can get them is for free. Hi guys.